Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use filters inside Filament PHP. So, so far I have already covered how to do basic sourcing as well as adding a simple search bar. So if you haven't seen those videos, it's part of the playlist. I will have the link to the playlist in the description. But in most cases, you need something more than that, right? For example, you may want to filter based on published posts or maybe by a relationship, some enum, some state, things like that. So that's where uh, filters come in handy. So let's go ahead and see how they work in practice. So over here, I have my uh, resource file for my posts over here. So this is the resource file for the page you just saw, post resource. Now, filters are defined under your table function. So I have minimized the form. And under the table, there is a section called filters. If you guys pay attention and take a look, there should be a filter method uh, and with an array inside of it. Okay, so this is where you define all your uh, filters. Now, there are a few different types of filters, such as, you know, uh, these fields, like these different type of inputs that we showed, or these column times, right? So there are different types of filters. The simplest is just called the filter. So I'll just add it over here. And like everything else, you need to call the make method on it. So the import is a filament, tables, uh, filters, filters, if you want to manually import it. Now for regular filters like this one, the name you put inside the make method isn't important. It could be anything. It's more like a label. So in this case, I'm going to say uh, published posts. And then after that, you need to call a method of query, okay? So this is where you actually define what should happen when this uh, filter is active. Now, this query method is kind of similar to scopes. It basically accepts a closure or a function, an anonymous function. We can also use the new arrow functions in PHP. And as an argument, it basically takes a query, okay? So this is very similar to how a model scopes work on Eloquent. So here we can take this query, and this is going to be an Eloquent builder class. And then on top of it, you can go ahead and call any eloquent method you want. So for example, you can say where, where has, or where, whatever you like, you can go ahead and call over here. I'm just going to say where. And uh, in case you haven't seen the previous episodes, basically, this is my migration. I have different types of things. For example, I have a category ID, I have a published. So in this case, I want to check if the post is published or not. So I'm going to use this Boolean column over here. So I'm going to say where published is equal to true. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Now, you don't need to return it, but I'm going to return it just to be safe. So let's go back and let, let's see what happens with this filter that we have created. Okay, so if I reload the page, we get this new icon over here. It's like a funnel icon. And then we have a checkbox. And if I if you guys look here, uh, we are showing all the published posts, all the posts. And if I click on this, it only shows the published posts. And then you can remove it over here from this active filters. So let me zoom in a little bit more or from obviously the same place by unchecking it, right? So very nice. Now, if you're using something like VS Code, like me, I'm not sure about PHP Storm, but I'm assuming it's going to be similar. You're not going to get any auto suggestions over here. So if you want to get that, you need to actually do a type hint here. So this is going to be of type builder, and it is illuminate the database eloquent builder. So you can add the type hint. The return type is also a builder. Now this is optional. You don't have to add it, but you can add it if you guys want. And then now, if I do where, as you can see, VS Code is able to actually detect this and give us the auto suggestion. So we can, you don't have to memorize these or, you know, if you forget the name, with count, whatever you like is available over here. So I'm going to set this back to where. So this is the simplest type of a filter. You just call the filter, the make, then you do a query, and then you add any type of eloquent query you want to be applied when this filter is active. So this is the simplest form. We have another type of filter, which is known as a select filter. So you just type in select filter and then call make. Now for this one, what would you put inside this make is very important. This has to be the name of the column you want to filter for. So in this case, I want to filter for a relationship I have, which is this category ID, okay? So I have a one-to-many relationship. Basically, each post has one category, but a category can have, you know, many posts. So I'm going to use this category ID over here, very important. So for the regular filter, it wasn't important, it was the label, but for the select filter, very important. Make sure you add in the correct column name. And then after that, it works exactly identical to regular selects inside filament. So you have two options. You can manually pass in the options by calling this options method. And giving it the option, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and get all the categories on my model. So I'm going to say category, all, and then use the pluck method that we have covered so far. Pluck. And when you say name, ID. And of course, if you want, you can also go ahead and make it searchable. Anything else you have, or even do multiple if you guys would like. Let me go ahead and call multiple on it. And this should be a yeah, multiple. 
So this allows you to select multiple items. Any option you have inside the regular selects in your form builder, you also have it over here. Okay, so let me save this. Let's go back. And now if I open it up, as you guys can see, we have category ID. And I'll show you guys how to change that if you want to change the name. And then if I click on it, I get all the options. And as you can see, because I selected multiple, I also am able to select multiple items, as you guys can see. Now, if you don't want multiple, just don't add it, okay? Now, for the name, in this case, it's showing category ID, right? Which you may not want to show the ID. So what you can do is you can go ahead and call the method of label. And then set this to whatever you like. So in this case, I'm going to say category. So if I go back and I reload, uh, we get category instead of category ID. And of course, because I, on com I commented the multiple, now we are only able to search by one of them. Okay, so I don't have anyone, any published posts of PHP, but I do have for Livewire. So this is how uh, the select works. Now, if you're using it with a relationship, obviously it's better if you don't manually add these. You can use the relationship method. I, I, I wanted to mention this in case you have some sort of enum or whatever. You can go ahead and pass it in inside the options. I do have a video on uh, select filters, guys. It's, I believe, episode one or two. But let's go back. If you have a relationship, you can just go ahead and call the relationship method and then pass in your relationship function name. So in this case, I have a category relationship on my uh, post model. Let me show, you, show it to you guys. So I do have a category relationship over here. So I can just go ahead and access it, type in category. And then as a second argument, basically whatever column you want to be used to show it. Now, if you're using it like this inside your filters, by default, uh, let me save this. Did I save it? So as you can see now, we are getting basically all the options populated already, right? So now I can go ahead and filter by Livewire or by, you know, PHP, whatever I like, okay? So very easy to do. Now, one more thing you can do, guys, is you can also go ahead and add a multi to it. So here I'm going to say multiple. Exact same thing as before. I already had it here, but it's okay. So, and if you're using the relationship, you can go ahead and add all of these here. Now, you can also make this searchable. So if I go ahead and say uh, searchable, this will make it so basically uh, we can search for all the items. Now, when you're making it searchable by default, it doesn't really show anything. Okay, so if you want to do that, you can go ahead and I believe it's called preload. I could be wrong. Yeah, you can call the method of preload. And what this does is basically it automatically adds some items so the user doesn't have to search right now. They have to search to get the categories. If you add the preload, it makes it so there is already some options here. Okay, so it just could be a little bit more convenient for users so they don't think it's broken or whatever. So now, again, it works just as expected. And this works, again, for a one to many many-to-many -many relationship, whatever you have. Uh, this should work. Of course, for many-to-many -many relationship, you probably want to add the multiple, so you can... Although, it depends. You don't have to add the multiple. You can just remove it as well. As you can see, still works just fine. And of course, you always have the ability to search as well, if you like. So that's it, guys, for uh, the select filter. You can add the items manually using the options or use the, uh, the relationship or anything else that you have on a regular form builder. Now, uh, there is one more thing I would like to cover, guys. There is another type of uh, filter. So in this case, we have an issue with our published posts. Not necessarily an issue, but a limitation. So by default, we see all the posts. And if I check this, I get all the published posts. But what if we want all the unpublished posts? Right now, we don't have a way of doing that. Now, one solution is we can go ahead and copy this and maybe make another one for unpublished posts and set this to false. So we add two separate filters. That's one option. So if I go ahead and I come over here, I can say unpublished posts and, you know, this works. And this is totally okay. You can go ahead and use this. But uh, Filament offers another option called... I can actually go ahead and comment these for now. Called Ternary Filter. And as the name suggests, it works with trees, right? So basically here, uh, this is useful for cases like this one. Here, I, I do have to pass in the column name. So I'm going to say Published. So this is useful for Boolean fields or maybe, uh, you know, something like a, this case we have over here where it's true or false, right? Or small integer. It will give you instead of one option, three options. So if I reload now, I have one for uh, no, I have one for yes, and I also have one for all. Now I think I have made a type over here. Let me double check the column name. It is indeed called published. So let me add it over here. Yep, let's save it. Let's try again. Yeah, so I think I had some of the previous filters at the URL, so it was messing things up. So now if I look at, take a look at the published, 
basically the default is all of them. If I said yes, obviously it shows the published post and then we have no as well. Okay, so if you have a case like this, when you have it like a Boolean field and you want all the possible options, yes, no, and obviously all the cases, you can also use a ternary filter. Now it does have a few more advanced features as well. It's a bit outside the scope of this video. I just wanted to cover the very basics today for you guys. So, and that's it guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. You can obviously use this to create as many filters as you like. Now, I would make another video going a bit more in depth into filters. So uh, this is just the first part of it. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It helps the channel grow. And also YouTube likes people, you know, liking the videos, commenting. It just uh, promotes the videos more. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.